What's up, guys? Yep, it's that time again. Time for another book review. Yep, today we are reviewing Darkness on the Edge of Town. Now, I have this book. I own this book. Upstairs, I have the paperback. But I decided to read or listen to the audiobook and the audiobook is by Chet Williamson so first off I want to get this right out of the way no matter how I feel about the book which you will set here in a minute here um Chet Williamson is a fantastic writer and a fantastic narrator now I've never read anything by Chet Williamson I'm going to correct that soon I hear great things about him though and his narration skills are just off the charts uh his characters are great um I enjoyed it a lot. He did a phenomenal job. Now, uh, I give the narration five stars. Now, um, first I'm going to read you the synopsis, then I'll read you my written review, then we will talk about the book a little bit. So are you ready to delve into it? I know I am. So let me read you the synopsis. So one morning, the residents of Walden, Virginia woke up to find the rest of the world was gone, just gone. Surrounding their town was a wall of inky darkness, plummeting Walden into permanent night. Nothing can get in, not light, not people, not even electricity, radio, TV, internet, food, or water. Hmm. And nothing can get out. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. No, one who dared to penetrate. The mysterious barrier has ever been seen again, only that their screams were heard. But for some, the darkness is not the worst of their fears. Driven mad by thirst, hunger, and perpetual night, the residents of Walden are ready to explode. The last few sane prisoners of this small town must prepare a final stand against their neighbors, themselves, and something even worse, something out there in the darkness. Sorry, I didn't realize I pointed the camera straight at my mouth so i apologize for that um so now we will read my uh well if i can find it my written review uh let me see here here it is so here we go i've only read two keen books but this is by far my favorite. Robbie, our narrator, is stuck in a town that has been surrounded by darkness. The world seems to be devoured by the darkness, and Robbie and his and company are trying to figure out what exactly the darkness is. This book is full of great scenes, and I absolutely loved it. I was a little weary to read this one, since the last Keen book wasn't my favorite book ever. Ghoul. But this book definitely delivered. This book is like, oh, excuse me, again, drinking milk like crazy, dog. It's good for the bones, I hear. Probably not. It's probably not good for you. Um, who knows? But anyways, uh, uh, back to the review. Um, this book is like Stephen King's The Mist, except that was that story was shorter, and this one hits harder than that. Not saying The Mist is a bad story, no, far from that. The Mist is a f favorite of mine, but I just think this one hits harder than Stephen King's epic tale. The characters in this were amazing, and I just had a blast with this one. Also, the narration was solid, and Chet Williamson did a superb job. I'm giving this book five stars. It was that good. Now, <laughs> I know I might get some hate for this because uh, I already am looking at some of other people's reviews and I, I even saw one of my friends didn't like this book at all. Um, one of my friends, not going to name names, <coughs> Jay Maddox, uh, gave it two stars. So um, I think that's crazy. Um, this is like a really good book. Now, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, so don't attack Jay for not liking this book. Of course, his review came from 2018, and I'm sure that he's blossomed more. And maybe he, if you re re read it, he would like it. I doubt it because it seemed like he really didn't like it. But um, yeah, 
Um, <laughs> I don't mean to dog on anyone's review. I just, I just wanted to say that some people did not like this book and it's generated, I think at, uh, 3.65 for average rating for stars. Let me check. Yeah. 3.65. For rating and it has, uh, hey, Lula, you gotta shut up, girl. Lula, I'm in the middle of a video. Hold on one second. She's done barking now, so I think I can, uh, continue with this review. Um, thank you, Lula. Um, so like I was saying, this re but this book has a review rating of 3.65. And it has 3,361 ratings and 312 reviews. So, yeah, I don't understand the hate for this book. Um, I really like this book. Um, this book was really good, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it was like The Mist, if The Mist was different. Um, and, and, and by different, I mean different perspective, different like um like different story it's like the same premise but a different story you know what i'm saying and it was really good i liked it a lot um darkness on the edge of town i keep saying at the end of town <laughs> at the edge of town but it's on the edge of town so i i gotta keep i gotta remember to say it correctly um don't know if i said it correctly in the beginning of the video but anyways um yeah, I give this book five stars. It was easily one of my favorite Brian Keene books. Uh, the only other Keene I read was Ghoul. And honestly, not my favorite coming-of-age tale. It just kind of was bland to me. It just felt like a throwaway coming-of-age tale. Like, I felt like it had promise, but then it just fell flat for me. It felt like it was trying to give this kid an unbelievable tra tragic story i don't know i wasn't a big fan of of that book in general but i did give it three stars so i did enjoy it a little bit um just not as much as i would like um other coming of age stories like traveling vampire show or fear but then again i was being i was really burnt out on coming of age stories um so yeah that might have influenced the rating a little bit um but uh yeah, this was a different story. The only time I've ever seen this premise done is The Mist. And I saw a lot of people saying it was kind of like Under the Dome. But I've never seen Under the Dome. So I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, so the only thing I can compare it to is Stephen King's The Mist. And uh, I really liked this book. I really liked it. Um, and the narration was phenomenal. I, sh I have the paperback upstairs. I might... Well, I, now I know Jay Maddox doesn't like it, so I can't send it to him. Maybe as a joke, I could send it to him. But uh, um, I really enjoyed this uh, this book, and it's definitely gonna like. I'm definitely gonna read Ghost Walk by Brian Keene soon. Uh, I have the audio. I have the near. Uh, I have the audio book on my phone. So um, when I get around to it, I'm going to probably listen to it. But I'm going to, I, of course, have to give, like, there's another author I'm going to listen to before I get to Ghost Walk by Brian Keene. Uh, I have a Samantha Kozlinski Kos or something like Kolinsky. I, I don't know how to say her name. But um, I have her audiobook, um, True Crime, I think it's what it's called. And I'm probably jacking up her name like no other man could or woman. Uh I'm just jacking up her name. I apologize. It could be Sarah Kolinsky or Samantha Kolinsky. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyways, that's my next audiobook. I hope I like it. Um, I should have it finished in no time. It's only like three hours and three and a half hours or something like that. So, and that and that's not even going at the speed I'm going at. I'm going at 1.5 speed. So I should probably finish it in two and a half hours, if I'm being honest with you. So um, I'm going to read that one next. And um, oh, we'll listen to that one next. And uh, yeah, so this is my review for Darkness on the Edge of Town by Brian Keene. Um, definitely a good book, if you ask me. Five stars. Um I would definitely recommend it. If you uh, are a fan of Brian Keene, then you already probably know this book. I don't know where this stands for uh, 
Brian Keene fans. Uh, this definitely was a book I endure. I, I enjoyed. Um, I liked the main character a lot. Um, and he wasn't like, he was a little flawed, you know? Uh, I mean, mostly it was because of the darkness, but, um, that's here nor there. Um, Dez was a good character. I, I didn't even get to talk about some of the characters. Dez, Russ, uh, what was the girl's name? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to call her, uh, Robbie's girlfriend. And then, uh, Robbie, of course, is the main character. Cram, Cramston, I think was the other guy. I, I couldn't, I didn't really care about for him. He kind of seemed like a pussy, if you ask me. And then I won't say what happens at the end, but just know Cranston sucks. Um, there was a few characters that I couldn't stand, but they came and went, you know. Um, there was some really annoying scenes with some white wannabe gangsters. So, But hearing Chet Williamson narrate those parts was hilarious. So it came off funny for me, whereas if I read it, I might have been annoyed. So I think the audiobook really did it justice. Um, so yeah, but this is my review for Darkness on the Edge of Town by Brian Keene. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the review. I hope you guys are having a great day and a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Now, uh, I think Coffin Couch starts in 30 minutes, so I'm going to be doing, the, uh, I'll be preparing for that. So yeah. Go check out Coffin Couch tonight. Peace out, guys. See this crazy girl? She barking. She barking for no reason. She barking for no reason. Look at this crazy girl. Look at her. Look at her. She crazy. Interrupting my review? What the hell?